In Onshape, you can create tabs in a sheet metal part. First, start off by creating a sketch. The sketch has to have closed contours, and also the sketch needs to be parallel to any faces that you want to attach the tabs to. Once you have your sketch, you can go to the tab command. I'll go to the drop down from the different sheet metal commands. Here is the tab command, and then the dialog box opens up. I will start off by selecting the contours that I want to use. Here I selected one contour, but you can select multiple contours if you want to. If you select a contour that you don't want to use, you can just remove it. The tab command will automatically detect any flanges that are attached to the sketch, but you can attach the tab to any other faces that are parallel to the sketch plane. Let me select this face as well. And there you can see a preview of the tab that is created. That's good. I will hit the check mark for the first tabs that I created in the model. Now let me rotate the model a little bit. I'm going to take one of my other tab sketches and show it. Let's create a, another tab. I will click on the command. I will select two different faces this time. And then for the flange to merge to, since it's not attached to any faces, I have to select the flanges manually. And I will select this face in the model. You can see a preview of the geometry. Let me zoom into that. And right now we can see that the flanges are interfering with the face of the second sheet metal part in my part studio. So if you go to the dialog box, you can click in the collector for the subtraction scope and choose any faces from the current part or any other part that you want the tabs to be removed from. And also you have the ability to specify a subtraction offset. Here it's using the default value set for my sheet metal model. Let me make it big enough so that you can see it. And then I will hit the check mark. And so you can see how we added material to one of the parts in the studio and then removed the material from the other part. If you want to change the default setting for your gap, you can go to the sheet metal model and then right click on it and choose edit. And in the dialog box here, you have the value for the minimal gap for relief. Let me cancel out of that command. And for the last one, I'm going to rotate the model and let me translate over and zoom in. Let me make a, another one of my sketches visible and I'll hide the second sketch. Here I have a sketch that is overlapping on two of the different parts in my studio. Once again, I will go to the tab command and I will select two of the different faces from the sketch that is overlapping. It automatically detected the faces of different flanges in the part. I'm going to hit the check mark for a moment for the for this one and I'm going to hide the second part for a moment so you can see the tab was added to the first part in the studio let's make the second part visible and then hide the first part so in this particular situation because the sketch was overlapping on both of, of the parts both of them got the tab in the model let me go back to make this one visible let's go to the tab and I'll right click on it and choose edit and so that way if you decide that hey I don't want this tab to be located in the first part we can go ahead and remove it and then hit the check mark and once again in this particular situation since I removed it right now I have some interference in the model so you can always go back edit the feature and then change the subtraction scope and say that hey I don't want this part to end up with the tab in the model let's hit the check mark again and in this particular situation we have the interference removed from the part so that's how you use the tab command in a sheet metal model in onshape